we have long celebrated the, the success of these big, giant bears of the Brooks River. And, um, but sometimes the younger bears are overlooked. So this year we have Fat Bear Junior competition, which is chubby cubbies competing against each other. And they really deserve this recognition. Uh, the spring cubs who were born in the winter start out at a pound and they can be as big as 80 pounds at the end of their first season. Now let's get to uh, the first matchup in Fat Bear Week Junior. And again, this starts on starts on Thursday, September 23rd at fatbearweek.org. Uh, and this matchup is between 132's darker spring cub and 909's single spring cub. Let's take a, a closer look perhaps at, um, at 132's um, spring cub first. This bear is originally part of a litter of three cubs. So uh, the spring cub is one of just two surviving members of that litter. The mother bear of uh, this cub is an, number 132 is an experienced mother. She's used Brooks River every year since 2009. So like other spring cubs, it may look small, but this cub probably weighs, you know, more than 60 pounds right now. And it, it could easily put on another 10 or 15 pounds by the time it goes into the den. So this is um, the first competitor in our Fat Bear Junior. This is um, the spring cub of bear 909. 909 arrived with two spring cubs. Um, but um, lost one of them, we don't know how, very early in the season. And because 909 is a very inexperienced mother, her first litter at a very young age, she frequently would just leave her cub behind and, and search for fish. This cub has become very self-reliant, really has gotten that fat on its own in many ways. Although mom does nurse and does share fish um, with, this, with this little cub, but certainly worthy of the recognition to compete in Fat Bear Junior. And the next uh, pair of competitors that we have are actually a pair of yearlings. So this pits uh, 128's uh, dark yearling uh, against uh, 435 Holly's yearling and both of these bears have uh, their own personalities that I think are fairly distinctive. Let's uh, take a closer look right now actually at 128's yearling specifically. Uh, so this is a, a female second year cub. Uh, so when we call we talk about yearlings these are second year bears. I kind of describe this bear as having a little bit of long legs but that's somewhat typical for yearlings. They kind of look a little bit lanky especially in, in early summer but by late summer they're quite pudgy. And her fur um, by late summer was slightly darker brown than her sibling, so she has one sister in this litter. Uh, her fur is also very grizzled, sort of around the face and neck, and her ears are conspicuously blonde. Behaviorally, though, this is a very interesting yearling to watch um, because this yearling and her sister have really benefited greatly from their mother's bold defensiveness. Uh, Grazer is one of the one of Brooks River's most offensive mother bears, and given um, her cubs access to the lip of Brooks Falls. And on the lip of Brooks Falls this year, we saw Grazer's dark yearling follow mom's lead. And by the end of the summer, she was frequently catching salmon on her own on the lip of Brooks Falls. And that's a skill that sometimes takes larger bears um, and older bears much longer to learn. So I think this bear is really set up for success. Yeah, um, this is, um bear 435 Holly's yearling. Now, what's interesting about this bear's behavior is that she um, is fearless around humans. Very curious, not afraid, but when this cub is at the falls, it's more comfortable now, as you see in this um, video. But for, I'd say the first half of the summer would stay back with Holly in the riffles did not like to be in the current, couldn't manage just to, to get through that strong current. And when it was finally at the falls, it was really in, intimidated by the other bears, which I think is kind of interesting because it was more intimidated by the bears than the humans this summer. And she's a, she's a tall 
a, um, a tall cub. So for her to get that that chunky is is a big accomplishment, and that's what she needs to do to survive the winter. So um, this is a great competition with two really interesting yearlings. We honor these big, fat, successful cubs in Fat Bear Junior, and there'll be two head-to-head -head competitions, and the winner of Fat Bear Junior gets to compete against his or her elders. Um, so, very exciting addition to the Fat Bear competition.